Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit Patel. Today I am going to share my thoughts on job interviews. If you are terrified of giving a job interview or if you are finding it difficult to crack a job interview, then I would suggest that you watch this entire video because in this video I am going to share my experience of giving 20 job interviews for finding 3 jobs during the 23 years of my career. I also have experience in interviewing people. So I have interviewed more than 500 candidates. From this both the experience of giving a job interview as well as taking job interviews, I am going to share my experience and give you all the ideas, insight, tools and tactics that can help you to get your next dream job. Okay, so my first job happened in 1995. I completed my engineering college and after that I started looking for a job. So my very first job interview was very disappointing and I will tell you the reason it was disappointing. I was not getting a job and I met a friend and uh, I told her that uh, I am looking for a job and she said that so and so person, she, she knew someone has a particular company where a person like me can get a job. So what I did was, uh, I did not know the company, I did not know what it was doing. I just took my resume, I went to meet this person. My friend had already informed this person that the owner of that company that I am going to come for an interview. And uh, when I reached there, what I saw is that the company was a uh, it was more of a workshop than a company okay and there were around three to four people who were working there uh, besides the owner and when the owner saw my resume he told me that Amit you are an engineer you are over qualified for this job so the first tip is very simple make sure you know the company where you are going to give your job interview so that you don't get disappointed. Nowadays you have the internet so it is easy to search for information. You can search for everything about that company if you can get, uh, if you can find someone you know in that company then it will be much easier to find out what does this company actually do and whether you want to work for that company. Now you will only know whether the company is good for you if you have done all your due diligence about what kind of a job interests you. What kind of a job do you want to uh, find? What kind of a company you want to work for? So that when you start looking for the job, you are looking at the right places. It will save you a lot of time. It will also be help you to find your best job okay so that was my first interview and after that I I uh, walked out of that place uh, that was hardly an interview because it was just a conversation where I found out that uh, this job is not for me after that again I started searching for a job now the second job uh, interview I faced was with an antivirus software company at that point of time, I was learning uh, programming languages C, C++ and Unix uh, from an institute called DataPro and in DataPro they had a placement cell. So the placement officer, she, uh, she helped me with this finding this job. In those days we did not have the internet so you had to find jobs through reference. And the placement officer found one job, it was in Nariman Point and it was a customer support engineer's job for a software company. Now I was very delighted because I wanted to get into a software company and uh, at till that point of time I did not know programming. So I thought this is my best chance to get into a software company and somehow once I learn programming I will shift from support to programming. That was the whole idea. So I went to the interview Okay, before the interview, I asked this uh, lady, the, the placement officer, like, what do you think I should wear? 
and this is the second tip whenever you go for a job be presentable it's better to wear a light shirt okay not any flashy uh, t-shirts are no 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 shorts even if you're going for a software company okay i don't expect you to wear a coat and tie and all but i went with a tie because in that company she told me it was a, it was a marketing office and everybody even the customer support were wearing a tie that was the dictated by the ceo of that company that everybody who went to the customer should be wearing a tie so i went with a light shirt and a tie so whatever job you go for make sure you are presentable your hair is groomed your shirt and your pants are ironed really well these are these are basic things but i am still telling you so that when you keep one set of clothes only for the interview for every interview just wear that that is fine but it should be presentable so i went to this interview and uh, really speaking i was not prepared for this interview because i did not know anything about antivirus software at that point of time okay again there was no internet so there was no way to search for this information it was like today i got uh, today i found out that there was a, a job available and immediately in the next day i went for the interview so i was not aware about antivirus or anything related to antivirus so the hiring manager he started asking me a lot of questions now i am a very uh, as far as communication is concerned i am good with my communication and that i came to know on that day the reason i am good is because uh, my entire education has been in english school but from age standard i started reading a lot i read a lot and because of that it is easy for me to make uh, sentences to explain things so my english is good you cannot say it's excellent or i'm not an expert in english but it is good for communication so a lot of people face struggle with communication a lot of people face the biggest challenge they have is how do they communicate well one simple tip is to speak slowly okay take your time to make your point but try to be as clear as possible it is okay if you are not grammatically correct but make sure that the person in front of you understands what you are trying to say so speak slowly and take your time to explain whatever is required to be explained okay so always remember this that when you are giving an interview it does not matter uh, whether you come from a vernacular medium it does not matter your english is not polished all those things don't matter okay the only thing matters is that you are able to give the answers that your hiring manager is asking you that is the only thing that matters and if you start speaking slowly and if you start making sure that everything you are saying is is correct to the point then it will help you okay so he started taking my interview he asked me a lot of questions and i was able to answer few questions which are general questions but as far as the technical questions which were required for the job i was not able to answer most of them and the reason was i did not know anything about antivirus okay so by the end of the interview it took about uh, 30 to 40 minutes of interview after that i felt that i am not going to get this job then the manager told me uh, i mean there is one thing okay what i see is that you are good in your communication but what you require for this job what you require for this support customer support you don't know anything about antivirus okay so how are you going to do this job instead of customer support i can give you a marketing job because your communication is good now here is another tip 
which is very important be sure about the thing you want to work in i was very clear right from beginning that i want to be in the technical field i did not want marketing i did not want to do selling i was very clear right in the beginning of my engineering career that i even i became an engineer just because i was fascinated with electronics so i became an engineer just for that and as far as computers was concerned computers was one subject in our engineering college and i did, did really well with that subject and i was fascinated with computers after that so my whole idea was that i want to be technical maybe i want to write software programs i want to whatever i do i'll be in the technical field that was my goal that was and it was very clear about it be very clear because when you get such a opportunity you don't make the wrong decision and i told him that uh, sir i am not maybe i am not yet qualified or i don't know exactly anything about antivirus but if you give me a chance i am a electronics engineer i will do whatever it takes to learn everything that is required for this customer support job if you will give me a chance within 30 days i will prove it to you that i can be a good customer support after that you decide whether you want me to join you or not now when you say this okay i said this with full conviction that i was i was 100% sure that i could do it okay if you are sure that there is something that you can learn then certainly you can give that to the person but not if you don't know whether you will be able to learn or not okay like lot of times uh, when i have been taking interviews you know engineers come to me and say that you know we we'll learn programming language within one week or two weeks and 21 days and sometimes it is not just that we want the programming language we want much beyond that we are looking for somebody who's uh, experience in something for 2 years 3 years and then we cannot hire that person but in this case my manager said okay i am ready to give you a chance so if you are confident if you show that confidence that is the another tip is the attitude what is your attitude are you a person who is going to shy away from challenges or are you a person who is going to put yourself put your stake in okay that confidence people will see okay so one is your attitude you need to show your attitude you need to show your confidence a little bit you need to uh, be courageous so i got that job okay so we we talked about three things one is be presentable that is very important second is communi to communicate well speak slowly the third thing that we understood is that be confident okay if there is something challenging then accept that challenge that may be the reason to get that job that you are looking for okay now that was the first first job after that i did a business for 11 years and so now in 2008 i had 13 years of experience now i quit my business and now again i was looking for a job so there were various places and it's really tough when you have a lot of experience behind you because there is a certain uh, thought process that you know i want this this much salary i need uh, this kind of a position i'm looking for this kind of a job so there are a lot of criteria you can call it filters you can call it whatever you want to but there are so many things that go into a job coming back to job interviews so i started applying for job by this time internet was available nokri.com monster.com all these job boards were available so i started applying for jobs the first interview i got was in uh, mumbai 
so at that point of time i was uh, i did my business in pune so i was in pune for 11 years and i got a job interview in mumbai i went to mumbai to this company and there was a uh, the the hiring manager came and he started taking my interview now i had 11 years of software experience where i myself had done all the programming and i was applying for a technical role again i was applying for a a uh, senior system analyst or a uh, chief architect kind of a role now what happened in my first interview after that was i knew a lot of technical things but there were a lot of jargons that were used in the industry and because it was my own company where i was building this softwares i didn't care about the jargons for me it was like okay we have to build this product this is the way in which we are going to build the product and that that's how things used to get done but when i went for that interview he started asking me a lot of jargons and a lot of things which i knew at the back of my mind but i was not able to answer correctly like in 45 minutes i made a fool out of myself i was like completely uh, he he must have thought that this person has not done anything in his 11 years of career that must be his uh, his thought process whereas in 11 years i had built like 60 plus software applications that was my experience like i if somebody would have told me there that okay i you have this 2 3 days and build an application i would have gone and i have to completely build a application from scratch that was my experience but in the interview i was not able to answer any question because of all the jargons that were getting used so what did i do okay after coming back from the interview i went to a bookshop and i bought a basics in dot net book yes okay just imagine i was already programming in dot net but i bought a basics in dot net book why i will tell you and this is a trick even if you are experienced when you buy a basics book of any any subject okay in the index you will you will have a index chapter index in the index there will be questions which will be there like okay what is dot net what is and you will be surprised that these are the exact questions that interviewers who are taking your technical interviews will ask you believe me i was 13 years experience but when i bought that book and i saw the the book and i saw all the things that were asked were from that it was as if that person was asking me from this book just before meeting me he had taken this book taken the questions from the index okay so i took that book and i started reading it see i already knew dot net i was already working in dot net for 5 years at that point of time so it is not that i needed but i needed the language which this person who is taking my interview understands okay so i just started simply reading the book and grasping the language and if you want to master any book there are very three simple steps okay i call it 3 hours and 3 hours is review revise and rehearse review is read everything as quickly as possible so if you take one chapter read the chapter as quickly as possible okay close the book and write down what whatever you got from that book okay second time you revise this time you go a little bit slower okay this time you whatever you have written down based on that you grasp the depth of that particular book and rehearse is you close the book and try to recollect everything okay and try to write it down or try to just stand in front of the mirror and talk about those topics just look at the index and say okay what is memory management you talk about that topic for a minute okay so when you do that when you do that you will be able to ace any interview 
any technical interview okay so go and find the most basic book it can be anything maybe you are preparing for an interview on uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning okay take a dummies book for artificial intelligence and machine learning and just read it before your interview you will see a marked difference because now you are confident now you are talking in the language of the industry okay and that is the idea behind clearing this interview after i did that okay my next few interviews became very easy okay i was able to technical in technical interviews uh, there was a very big company uh, i can take the name of that company cybage i went through three or four different interviews and at every level i got pushed on to the next level to the next level just because i had just read this basics in dot net book and at every level i was able to confidently answer the question please understand confidence comes from preparation it does not matter if you are an introvert or extrovert a lot there are a lot of over confident people but believe me they fail in interviews because i was over confident uh, at the time when i went for my first interview in 2008 i was over confident because i thought okay i know so much of dot net that i can answer any question that's not true there's a difference between doing the things and explaining the things to explain you need the language and that language is going to come from the books that you read okay so to prepare for even if you are a fresher and you are trying to prepare for interview just read the books the programming languages for which you are appearing for the interview just read the books so that you get the language so that you are able to explain everything that you want okay so after that my interviews became really easy i was able to give all the interviews so what what we saw in this entire thing is first thing is dress well okay because your first impression in 30 seconds the interviewer is going to make an impression about you okay and you have that 30 seconds to impress him and that is by your appearance and if if that that goes well 50% of your work is done after that when you are talking speak slowly so that the person in front of you understands listen carefully to the questions and ask if you do not understand the question that is fine okay you should be prepared about what kind of a job you want so that you don't accept a job that you are not looking for okay then the other thing that we learnt is that read from book so that you develop the language to give your interview it will become very easy to crack any interview if you know the language you might be a programmer you may be programming really well you might be uh, in, let's say in a mechanical industry you you make designs really well but in the interview it is a articulation of your thoughts and how do you get your thoughts is from those books so it's just like if even if you glance through those books quickly that will give you a lot of confidence to attend the interview so there are one or two questions that you should always have a answer to okay one question is tell me about yourself and there are thousands of videos online you can check what to say my advice is prepare your own version about yourself don't go by don't copy anybody have your own version but have a proper standard version that you use everywhere and that version should be such it it will keep changing as per your experience so when you are a fresher tell me about you will be different than when you are going on an interview after 5 years of experience okay so that question you should prepare for another question that you should prepare for is about your strengths and weaknesses okay this is a question a lot of people are going to ask and be clear and again prepare yourself think about your strengths what is it that people say you are good at 
and when you are talking about your weaknesses again talk in a way that these weaknesses are there but either they don't affect you because of your strengths because of your focus on strength or these weaknesses you have tried to overcome them okay so tell me about yourself that question about your strengths and weaknesses always have them ready another question that you always get is about uh, when you are explaining something technical some technical question comes up try to connect that question to the projects you have done okay if you can connect whatever question has been asked for example uh, in software development somebody may ask you about memory management if you have done that in your project then you explain from your project point of view because that will show two things one thing it they will it will tell them that you know about this but you have already used this in your project which is a very important thing and that is very important for experienced people for experienced people for every question prepare an answer related to your projects okay before going for an interview write down let's say you in 5 years you have not searched for a job and now you are going for an interview after 5 years then in 5 years whatever you have learned have snippets of everything all the projects you have done what you have done not what your entire team has done never explain anything that you have not done because you will be you will get caught okay who is taking whoever is taking your interview is much more intelligent than you that you have to understand so uh, and the final question why did you leave that job if you are if you left some job have the right answer and there is no right or wrong answer okay there is only a true answer if you did not find that job to be financially good you should tell that okay uh, i left my business because of financial problems okay i was i was down financially because of which i had to quit my business and that is the reason i give to everybody when they ask me why did you quit your business and why did you come into the job so that is the reason to give so whatever is the correct reason always give that correct reason okay there are a few things that any interviewer is looking at you okay one is honesty okay or authenticity whatever you are saying does it does it look true okay so you have to make sure if you are true then automatically those things will come up and if you are not bluffing your way then confidence will automatically come in okay if you are saying everything truth i am okay if you don't get a job because of telling the truth i am okay with that okay but try to tell the truth because when you tell the truth confidence will come automatically you don't have to hide anything okay when i went for my first interview they he asked me that how many do you have any offer in hand or anything i said no i don't have any offer in hand this is the first interview where i have come to the stage of an offer and that is fine okay in 2008 when i went uh, for an interview with one company i already had an offer in hand and they asked me and i said yes i have an offer in hand and this is the offer that i have now this new company where i was interviewing they offered me a little bit less than the company where uh, i already had an offer okay but i wanted to work with this company so i chose this company even if the offer was a little bit less you know there is a saying by bruce lee you know i am not afraid of a person who practices thousand punches but i am afraid of a person who practices one punch thousand times okay practice is going to help you a lot if you prepare before your job interview i can guarantee that you will not just have one job offer you will have a job offer from multiple different companies because everywhere your story does not change what you know does not change the way you uh talk to people does not change okay so practice as much as possible okay i hope that this video helps you 
to get your dream job and i hope that uh, whatever whatever area if you have a question okay specific maybe you went for an interview and certain thing uh, somebody asked which you are not able to answer then put that in comments and i will try to answer that question okay share this video with your friends you know in today's date there are a lot of people who are not able to get a job and the reason it's not that there are no jobs there are a lot of jobs believe me that companies are hiring left right and center okay every company is losing 20% of their employees which means they have to hire back those employees so every company is looking for employees okay it does not matter what industry you are in it does not matter what uh, knowledge you have what skills you have there is there are a lot of jobs but what is keeping you away from that job is that interview how do you crack that interview okay and the best way to crack an interview is to prepare 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 okay prepare for everything and then be confident when you go for an interview don't worry about how much competition you have because there are chances that wherever you go there are going to be 10 20 people waiting in a queue for the same position but don't worry about that if there is a queue that means there are also more positions at that place okay and share this video with your friends because i can guarantee to you that they will love you for this one more thing if you have not subscribed to this channel then subscribe to this channel now stay focused stay rich keep coming back for more thank you very much